Let's face it, most of us would like to look good, have the body of a sculpted Adonis, without having to constantly diet and spend three hours in the gym every day. We don't all have the cash to be told how to work out by a rather strict personal trainer, and who on earth wants to go under the knife and have their belly fat suctioned out and then have a surgical six-pack made? We want the best results with the least amount of effort, and today we're going to tell you how it's done. 14. Don't work out first thing while we might admire people that wake up early and start doing their exercise routine, there is quite a bit of evidence that tells us that this is not a good thing at all. Your muscles and joints, according to most health sources, are just not ready. You need to warm up first, and so make sure you've walked around a bit before you work out. As for eating something before you exercise, well, that's a debate still raging. Some experts say if you want to burn more fat, work out before you eat. Then again, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics tell us that it's better to have a small snack. The best kind of meal for an energy boost in the morning would contain simple carbs such as a bowl of yogurt and some fruit. 13. Couch Potato Workout If you seriously don't want to leave your house to go to the gym, then use your house to get fit. You can do dips on your couch or tables or chairs, and just a few of these once or twice a day will work out your triceps. We assure you it won't take long to see a difference. Add to that one plank a day in the comfort of your room. Start with just a few seconds and build up to a minute. Most of the experts out there will tell us that a minute is a decent plank time. This will make a huge difference to your stomach muscles. When you're in the kitchen, simply lunge now and again while waiting for something to cook. If you can't do that, you can go down on your heels with a straight back. Put the weight mostly on your back heels. This is called a squat. If you're feeling super fit, jump up at the end of it. You could also do a burpee in your room, and these are great for your body. Just these simple exercises you can do while watching TV and waiting for the kettle to boil can make a profound difference to your body. You really don't need the gym to get in shape, nor do you have to buy the 20-minute hellish workout videos. 12. Put pressure on yourself How many of you have said, OK, tomorrow I'm definitely starting my workout routine? You know what happens next. You wake up and the person the night before who was determined to get fit no longer exists. You say, hmm, OK, maybe I'll start tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes, as the saying goes. Well, the fitness experts have a kind of hack for this. They say pack your workout gear into a bag the night before. Put that bag close to the house or apartment door or even in your car. If you've gone to that much effort, you will likely work out. Taking all the stuff out of the bag is an effort in itself and it'll make you feel like a very lazy person. 11. But not that much pressure According to the health experts, a lot of people don't even start working out because it just looks like too much work. Well, then don't make it too hard. Start your routine if you want as a 5-minute workout, not one long session that almost kills you. If you start with a difficult workout like that, it's likely you won't go back. Something is better than nothing. Go easy on yourself. When you're watching the TV in the room, maybe plank for 10 seconds. Trust us, this is better than nothing at all. We know it's not something you'll hear often from those great motivators of mankind, but set the bar low if you aren't used to working out. 10. Create a reward system There should always be a payoff for working out, whether that's how it affects your body or perhaps it's what you can put into your body. Get in the habit of rewarding yourself for what you do. 10 press-ups in the living room is a job well done. Now you can actually start playing that video game or give yourself a snack. When you start doing this, you'll actually feel guilty if you don't work out before you can eat or relax. Maybe if you go to the gym, do something enjoyable after each session. When you do this, your brain starts to relate the gym with that blissful activity and you'll go back again. 9. Leave things around the house even if you don't have a routine at all, just buy some dumbbells and perhaps some kettlebells and leave them in the bedroom, kitchen, living room, garden, etc. It's very likely that when you see them, you'll occasionally pick them up. 8. Just don't eat for a while Intermittent fasting is the great lazy person's diet. It really takes no effort. In fact, it's easier than actually eating because you don't have to cook or even move. Many studies these days will show you that intermittent fasting will make most people lose weight. Other studies show that it can have health benefits. Start with a 16-hour fast, which means only eating in the evening and then eating around midday the next day. Reading forums about this, a lot of people said once they've done it one time, it was easy and they kept doing it. Many people said they also felt mentally agile as well as physically good. You can also do 18-hour or 24-hour fasts. It's not bad for your health, but best if you're in good health before you fast. If you have health problems, talk to your doctor about fasting before trying it. Also, make sure you drink water throughout the fast. 7. Listen Listen to a podcast or an audiobook while you're exercising and tell yourself you can only listen to it when you're exercising. If it's interesting, you'll want to go back to it, and so you'll have to do more exercise. 6. Treat exercise like a drinking game You can do this with your friends. You all know the drinking game in which you must drink when someone on TV does something or says something? Yes, it can get you quite drunk. Well, 
do the same but change drinking to say push-ups or sit-ups. Maybe you're watching a movie with your friend and you split characters in that movie. Every time character A does this, your friend must do 5 push-ups. And every time character B does this, you must do some exercise. It's fun and it's great seeing your buddy sweat it out. You can also do it alone but it's not as much fun. 5. More playing but what if you don't like doing much but playing video games and watching YouTube videos? Then get yourself an exercise bike and do your playing and watching while on that bike. In fact, it's said with games, the more intense it gets, you'll actually pedal faster. You won't even know you're working out, burning tons of calories and getting fit. 4. Don't join a gym or get a personal trainer Yeah, you won't often hear this. Basically, the gym costs money and personal trainers cost a fortune. You've been thinking about both for a while now, but hey, save yourself some money. Do the workouts at home or in the street, and then pay yourself the cash you've saved. 3. Brothers in Arms Anyone who's taken up exercise will tell you this. Start doing your routine with another person who is about as good as you. None of you will want to let the other down, and you might also start to get a bit competitive, which is good. Having another person around you will motivate you. On those days you just can't be bothered, they will be the boost you need. 2. Make the house a great big circuit This means every time you go into a certain room, you have to do a certain exercise. You might try and avoid the kitchen because in there you have to do a number of squats. Maybe just start with one squat. The bedroom is the part of the circuit that you have to do a push-up or a number of push-ups. The living room is where you have to do your planking, of course, because as we said, planking and the TV go hand in hand. Do your lunges in another room. This might sound like hard work, but when you've done it once, it just becomes a habit. As we've said before too, set the bar low. Do what's easy for you at first and build up. Soon enough, you'll start feeling proud when you've made progress. Rome wasn't built in a day. 1. Look good Invest a decent amount of money in what you wear to the gym. This will motivate you to actually wear that stuff and when you do wear it, you'll feel good. You'll need to enjoy wearing that gear. Another thing, let's face it, many people work out because they want to look attractive to people. Nice clothes will already make you look good and the more working out you do, the better those clothes will look. Spend an amount of money on the clothes that you really feel you must use them. Once you're at the gym or the running track, you may end up having a crush on someone and we can tell you from experience that this is the greatest motivator of all time. If you're dressed well, you'll feel confident in front of this person and you'll want to keep seeing them. This will mean you'll have to keep working out. And hey, if you ever start a relationship with them, you have a workout partner. Beats meeting someone in a bar and having a drinking partner. We know you must be able to add something to this list, so please, add away. Would you be interested in doing some things we've talked about? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our I did 30 push-ups for 30 days and this is what happened. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.